In this video we will talk about animation in Lumion and we will see how we can basically animate anything here. So in the previous lessons we talked about the effects, the video effects that we can apply to static images, to static renderings, but almost all the effects here can be also animated and also we can animate cameras and we already know that we have some animated 3D models in the library and also we can we will see how to animate objects and other models in the scene. So let's start by placing some of the animated people and animals. So for example I can go here and insert something. Now you have two types of animated characters here. You have like people walking and this is what well, we, we, we need to make this move. We cannot bring this like that and that's like uh, static but while walking so this this is not good for animation and so we will talk about this later in the following videos but you have also static animated people for example let's pick this one here and well you also have people like swimming and doing other actions so you need to check all the different pages here because we have a lot of different things that we can use. So let's take this one which is static, hold the R key and I will rotate it a little bit. Okay. And also I want to add someone swimming in the pool. There you go, page 3. So I will add this one swimming. And this is also good because it's not moving it's just like staying right there and of course you have animals you have fishes you have uh, birds now let's add also a seagull here and if you want to place it to a correct height you need to hold the H key and then move it up and be careful that it's gonna be enough high otherwise it's gonna like go through the buildings and it will not look good there you go you can see it went through and then out and this is not good of course in an animation so uh, when you want to move some animated object like animals going around you need to get the node here so you need to find out where the insertion node is and then when you figure it out you can here let's move it up a little bit okay maybe this is enough and this is you know we already saw this in the beginning of the video course where we imported models but it's another way to refresh some things and also I want to add some effects so we talked about like water fire and other particle effects I can add it right here as well so I want to add for example here some leaves and then select them and change the direction of the wind so it's like coming in front of the camera and maybe I want to change the color as well and the size okay and this is also another animation that we can use when we are gonna produce a video about our scene and also we have sounds so we already talked about sounds where you can use this in animation and well that's basically it about the uh, models. Now the materials, you have some animated materials, for example pure glass can react to rain and snow so it can show you like streaks and drops that are gonna be animated. You have already saw that you have some animated ocean and water when you create landscapes and about the weather, well this one here is not animated but you can animate the sun and the sky when you are in the effects concerning the animation and we're gonna see that in just a bit. So let's move into the effects panel and this time we're not gonna use photo because we used this for static images in the previous lessons. Now we're gonna get to movie. So I will click on the movie button and in this template I already have some movies that I can check. So I can press play and you can see these are all really basic camera movements. This is kind of moving horizontally. This one here 
let's see well again so they are all pretty simple we're gonna do something a little bit more fun okay if you double click you can edit the current animation we're gonna get to this in just a moment and if you click once you can just move to the other one and you can also delete them if you don't want them or render this out isolated so if you click here you can render just the just one clip let's go back and if you want to render everything you will then move to the entire movie and then click on render and we are going to get to this part at the end of the video so I'm just showing you the overall interface of this part of Lumion. You can see that it looks pretty similar to the photo interface. Okay, so you have the effects on the left and then you have these slots, empty slots or filled slots with images. Here we basically fill with three types of things. We can place and cr or create a clip and let's go into this empty one. If you click here, you can decide if you want to import an existing movie from a file. So if you have some something that you want to add coming from perhaps another application or from YouTube or whatever, you can add any video here as long as it is in uh, MP4 format. And also you can add an image. So let's say I want to add here some render. I can use one of the renderings that we previously created. Okay. And then I say yes. You can also edit and change the duration here. So if you want to make it longer or shorter in time, say okay. And you can also create a photo slide. So if you want to just create a sequence of images, you can bring them in one by one and create an animated sequence so you produce a video which is not an actual animation but it's just a sequence of images you want to keep it simple you can do this if you want to do something more advanced let's jump into action by clicking on record so let's start to create our view our animated camera which will display a nice video and I want to create two types of video. I want to create a walkthrough, so I want to walk inside the architecture, and then I want to create like a drone um, animation. So I want to do something like from above, like this, something that will look like a bird view. Now you still have focal length, and you can change here the height and the eye level, and if you want 